Hey everyone, welcome back to Making Magical Adventures. In today's video, we're back inside Disney California Adventure Park. We're gonna be trying some new holiday foods, checking out some new merchandise, seeing any new park updates that have happened recently, as well as meeting Santa and doing some other fun festivities. So stay tuned. But before we get started with today's video, guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you guys do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed and tap that notification bell to be notified when we do drop a new video. So let's get started. So we just entered DC. It's very nice this morning and very fresh. So let's go and see what the rest of the park has for us. So let's go ahead and check Five and Dime to see what new merchandise has released. So it looks like they have plenty of holiday merchandise. But one that's kind of pointing out to me is this Marvel... I want to say ugly sweater, but it's not really ugly. It's actually really cool looking. And this is $59.99. I haven't seen this before, but that's a nice little Marvel piece. And it looks like they also have these figurine sets and they're actually on sale. So they're actually $20 each when you buy two, regularly $29.99. So you do get a little bit of savings there. And it looks like we also have some Ahsoka and Mandalorian. And some of my favorite things are the Pixar on the road or just other Pixar cars. So they have tons of new options also inside of Five and Dime. And one thing that I took advantage of the other day is this Disney 100 Lego Duplo Castle, normally $99 on sale for 60, plus the 20% brings this thing to $48. So I picked one up as a future investment. And one thing I saw the other day that looked really cool was this Wish Star ornament. And this thing is $34.99 and it is like a glass or ceramic, but I thought it looked really cool. We still haven't seen the movie, but there are tons of other things that are available for this collection at the parks. And like we said, there's still tons of holiday merchandise completely available. So if you guys are coming anytime soon, or I would say even in the next handful of weeks, there's still gonna be plenty of stuff. Now let's see if it gets discounted more towards the end of the year. That would be nice. Something that I did see like about a few weeks ago is this cat and watch when you squeeze it. Does some weird stuff with its tongue. This is $24.99. I don't know, what do you guys think? I don't even know what this is about but apparently it's from the new Marvels movie. Kinda freaky. And don't forget everyone, there is still this beautiful Christmas time tree here inside of Disney California Adventure Park. So if you guys are coming soon, make sure you get a picture in front of this. There are tons of hidden Easter eggs inside of this. So make sure you check it out. I ended up getting Raylani a secret surprise. So let's give it to her. <gasps> the what? The star! <laughs> Daddy? <laughs> You're welcome, beautiful. So we're here at Grizzly Peak at Smoke Jumpers Grill and they are currently starting to sell breakfast and they serve it till 10 a.m. So here we have the classic breakfast burrito. This consists of an egg, a hash brown, sausage, and bacon, all in a flour tortilla, and it comes with mocajete salsa, which I'm most excited about. So I can't wait to try this out for you guys. <laughs> so Reilani is so excited for her little wish star, and it's the first time we actually put in a little bit of a drink. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I guess she really likes it. Squirrel. All right, so we're gonna take our first bite here. This is a very tasty burrito and I absolutely love that salsa. It does have like a slight kick to it, maybe like a level three out of five, I would say. Um, this does come with either a side of fries or a mandarin. We went with the fries option for Reilani. So this is really good. I definitely will be getting this again. And I'm so excited because not many restaurants here in DCA offer breakfast. So this is a good little option to keep in mind. So let's finish this off. Yeah. Where did the squirrel go? No, oh, oh, good. Oh, oh okay. And next, also from Smoke Jumpers, we have the breakfast cold brew. Now, apparently, this is a chocolate cold brew. It has a little bit of marshmallow whipped cream, I believe, is what it is on top. It also has some cocoa puffs. So, could this be the competitor for Batu? We'll see. Ooh, that's a really, really smooth cold brew. Oh my goodness. So usually with the cold brews here at the Disneyland Resort, they tend to be really tart. And I know that's how cold brews are supposed to be when they're on tap, but this is very smooth. The chocolate taste isn't overpowering. It's actually just perfect. So you definitely taste that it is chocolate uh, infused with the cold brew. The marshmallow stuff on top, I didn't really quite get that taste from it, but I feel like having the whipped cream on top was an excellent choice. 
Cocoa Puffs, you can't go wrong with them. Batu's perfect, so why not toss them on here? I still don't think it's better than Batu. I feel like it is a little bit more smoother than Batu's, but I'll have Nicole try it now. Okay, so let's dive into this cold brew. I'm gonna try it first like this, and then I'll go ahead and see if stirring it makes a difference. So here we go. Okay, let's give it a stir. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> All right, let's go in for it this way. Oh, you're stuck. All right, now let's give it a try this way. So it is one of the stronger cold brews, I would say, that I've tried. I do wish it had a little bit more of that cream topping because it's really nice when it blends in to the rest of the cold brew. And just like Henry said, you can't go wrong with the Cocoa Puff cereal. I am getting the taste of that toastedness in the syrup. Um, overall, I think I would give this like a 3.5 out of 5. I, I'm leaning more towards enjoying it, but I'm most excited for the other cold brew that's at Pim's Test Kitchen. So we'll see which one compares. And kind of to piggyback off what she said, I do enjoy really strong like coffees and stuff. So maybe that's why I'm gearing towards enjoying it. So definitely keep that in mind. So we just finished up at Smoke Jumpers. And honestly, the more that we were eating everything, the more we were really enjoying it. So if you guys do want a breakfast option, like Nicole pointed out, make sure you check out Smoke Jumpers. I feel like the meal that we got for both of us was enough to for sure feed two people and a little one. So for the price point, I feel like it's very fair since you're gonna be splitting it. So keep that in mind. I would for sure check out Smoke Jumpers though. So Disney just released some exciting news that food and wine will be returning next year, March to April. And we're so excited as it's one of our favorite food festivals to do. With that being said, Soarin' Over California is gonna be returning back. We haven't been on it quite yet. So hopefully if someone's with us that can watch Raylani, Henry and I can jump on. But definitely make sure that you make time to ride that ride as it's everybody's favorite from what we hear. Raylani, do you enjoy your little star? Very fashionable, girl. <laughs> now we're heading to the Redwood Creek Challenge Trail to meet Santa. But just wanted to point out, in Grizzly Peak, it is so beautiful. The trees are finally starting to change color, which makes this area look so beautiful and magnificent. And the billboard also is a really beautiful thing to see every time we're here. And Nicole did point out in a previous video here at Disney California Adventure Park, they have these cool looking jar things inside of the tree. And at night, I'm assuming that they light up. We haven't been here at night quite yet. Maybe it's something we'll do down the road at our place. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> so we made our way over here to the Redwood Creek Challenge Trail. And every year for the holidays, this is actually where you can meet Santa. So we're gonna wait in line and it opens at 9.30, I believe. And I think it closes at seven or 7.30. So let's meet him. So we just made our way into the Redwood Creek Trail area. What a tongue twister as always. And this is where you can meet Santa. So it's still a little bit early. The reindeer are kind of out doing some laps with him, but we were given this really cool map here for a scavenger hunt that we could do as an option. And it shows you all the fun festivities you can do here. That's awesome. Yeah. Something we haven't done quite yet is the challenge trail, but this would be interesting to do with Ray Lonnie. Yes, and actually she was pointing out that this has a Mickey ornament, so I guess it's a hidden Mickey. Skittles are doing its the Skittle. It was just, just it's doing its thing under yeah. the ground. It has to figure out and what then color it has you want. Uh -huh, so over here. She's oh, running the show. Oh, 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 my God. oh, oh she shoes. likes your shoes. <laughs> sorry, we have to sorry, sorry. Do you look good? Yeah. <laughs> How awesome. So I got a question for you real quick, Santa. So you and Mr. The Grinch, you on talking terms or? I don't, I don't know. I've heard about him. Got it. He's very, very tiny. He lives on a snowflake. Ah, fair enough. <laughs> All right, so we just got done meeting Santa. It was such a fun experience. Raylani had such a good time. And of course I had to ask him, the Grinch question once again. And now what we're gonna be doing is decorating a Santa Claus cupcake. You can find this area right after you meet Santa. So Elani and I are gonna go ahead and do the cupcake cake that you can find here at the Redwood Creek Trail area. I don't know why we get stuck on that, but let's go ahead and get to decorating and see how it turns out. One like that. Wow. And then we'll go with the white. Does that kind of look like a flower? I don't know. I don't know what kind of flower this is. What do you think? It kind of looks more like Santa Claus, like with the beard. What do you think? 
pretty? Okay, so I'm no cake decorator, but we are just adding our finishing touches here. And I think it looks pretty good and tasty. What do you think, Raylani? You love it? You like it? Oh, yeah. She's like, oh, yeah. She's like in the mood. <laughs> <laughs> so next up, we're going to check out Humphrey's Service and Supply Store. Found something here the other day that I did want to pick up, which I think is going to be one of these trees and a few other of these items which i really do like this store and let's see what we end up getting then okay so we're right inside this grizzly peak store here and we hardly ever come so it's really cool to take a look at all the nature stuff that they have incorporated here and we're definitely gonna be picking up some things to take back home to arizona so i think for sure we're gonna grab one of these and then probably that and maybe a little raccoon we'll see so I am going to pick this stuff up, but check this out. I saw this really cool looking Soren mug. I might end up getting that. I really do like it. Bag secured. We got some fun goodies for Christmas for the fam. All right, we made our way next door to the Coca-Cola spot. Yes. And Nicole has something to show you guys. I don't know if a lot of you guys know, but this car has a Kitty Mickey here on the taillight. And it's one of my favorite ones to see each time we come. So make sure you come and point it out. Now we are currently in line to meet Nick from Zootopia, one of Raylani's favorite characters of all time. So let's do it. <laughs> you, you know, are you looking for a business partner, Nick? Because she's really good at saying popsicles. Can you show him? Ready? Popsicles. He, oh, he needs to hear you say it. <laughs> We watch your movie probably like four or five times oh, a day. Yeah. Your are favorite, yeah. Right? <laughs> we just got done meeting Nick from Zootopia. What a fun experience as always. We love meeting him and uh, Judy just because those are Raylani's like favorite characters of all time. Now we're going to run over to the pier area and show you guys something special we got going on. All right, so right behind me is Kayla's Cake Park. They are a friend of ours and a friend of the festival here. And they were so nice to gift us their holiday set. So if you haven't checked them out yet for festival of holidays, make sure you come and check out their booth. They have really cute tasting macarons here. They also have a booth out in downtown Disney if you're not able to come into the park. So make sure you go ahead and grab yourself one of these. It'll definitely bring you some Christmas cheer. Now we've made our way over here to San Francisco Square. We didn't realize they actually decorate for the holidays here, which looks really fantastic. So this would mark it the very first Christmas here at San Francisco. But if you can see over here, they added in the letters. We've been waiting for these to appear and they're finally here. I actually want to say they've been here for maybe about a month or so, but it's nice to see that they finally have it up here in San Francisco. So one thing I did want to point out in today's video, Disneyland Resort just pointed out that they're going to have tons of new events that are going to be arriving to the Disneyland Resort. And that's going to be inside of Disneyland and here at Disney California Adventure Park. We're really, really excited for Pixar Fest. As in the past, we've done Pixar Night and I believe it was maybe the one and only. And it was really cool to see those exclusive characters. So we're really excited for Pixar Fest to kick off here. There's also going to be things such as the Lunar New Year Festival, food and wine like Nicole pointed out. There's going to be a bunch of fun after dark events. One that really stood out to us was the Disney Channel night. So hopefully we're going to be able to do that. I believe that's in March. So let us know in the comment section down below if you're going to be doing any of those after dark events. I believe there's Sweethearts Night, Star Wars Night, and a few others if I'm not mistaken. But it's always fun that Disney has those things year round. One big thing we wanted to point out is until January 7th is when Festival of Holidays will still be here as well as Viva Navidad. So make sure that if you want to come and celebrate that you lock in those dates as soon as possible because it is coming to an end very, very soon. So we're going to be trying out some new foods from Pimp's Test Kitchen. First, we're going to start off with the cold brew infusion that consists of cinnamon and spices and caramel cold brew. It also has um, some cinnamon toast crunch, so let's dive right on in. This is really tasty. However, that cold foam that's on top is really thick. So I think mixing everything together would be really delicious. The cold brew taste in general is really nice and I can't wait to finish this off. Okay, so after I tried it, like Nicole stated, it's really thick as far as like the cold foam. I don't know if I really enjoy it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and mix it up right now and see if that changes anything. I feel like with sometimes the Disneyland cold brews, 
you do have to mix it all together to have like that wonderful taste instead of using it like a soft top. So let's try it again. That's much better. So definitely, as you guys saw in the bottom, it was like more of that milky creamy and you are getting that hint of cardamom on the bottom. I actually really like this and it's very refreshing. It's pretty hot today. So this will definitely be my seasonal drink for today. Okay, here we have the Musubi Pretzel Metamorphosis. That's quite the tongue twister. So this is a deep fried pretzel. It has some caramelized spam on here. It also has that Asian slaw, some edamame. It also has some crispy rice paper and a drizzle right on top uh, coated with taragashi. So let's try to get everything loaded onto our bite here. Okay, here we go. So those flavors come together very nicely. I did enjoy that caramelized spam. I keep wanting to say ham. Um, but because the pretzel is fried, it does make it a little tougher to chew. But overall, I think the flavors just like explode in your mouth. I definitely do want to finish this off because it's very tasty. I think everybody should definitely be open-minded and give this one a chance. Lastly, we're going to be jumping into the Choco Smash Cake. This is hilarious. It's a big slice of cake with a tiny little fork. So let's dive into our bite. Here we go. I enjoy that cake so much. It's really rich and fudgy. The ganache is really nice. I like those little crispies that are included in some of the layer. And the peanuts on top are just a nice little added crunch. Overall, this is every chocolate lover's dream. This whole entire meal gets a five out of five for me. Making our way over into the Hollywood Studios area. And what we're gonna be doing is picking up one of the Wish Disney lithographs. So we'll show you guys exactly where those are located here on this side of the park. So once you come inside of Hollywood Studios, right on the right hand side is gonna be a place called the Studio Store where Magic Key holders can pick up their Wish lithograph. And here is that lithograph that you guys can pick up at the Studio Store. So Magic Key holders, don't forget to grab yours. Okay guys, so we're going to go ahead and close out today's video here. I just wanted to point out again that I really, really enjoyed that Pim Test Kitchen cold brew with that cinnamon and cardamom flavor. It was my absolute favorite. So I think I'm going to make that one my seasonal coffee cold brew. Yeah, that one was really good. I did really like that breakfast burrito still, but I feel like at a theme park, you got to try those fun foods such as that pretzel we had. Mm -hmm. And it was really fun being able to see Ray Lani meet Santa. I think that was definitely icing on the cake. But with all that being said, if you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. And tap that notification bell to be notified when we do drop a new video. And like we always say, may you always have a magical adventure. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.